All right, guys, at the conclusion um, of their presentation, um, there will be a thread where you give one. You give them one, uh, you comment on one strength of their presentation. Um, and then you give them one area of growth that they can work on um, for the next round. All right, so our presentation is body modifications. Um, why body modification you can add? Body modification is used as a portal for self-expression, allowing you to be able to connect with one's soul <laughs> Emotion through the works of art. Um, tattoos and piercings are one of the most known body modifications. A lot of people in this room have a tattoo, want a tattoo, have a piercing, or want a piercing. Um, branding is not so um, common, but it is something we use culturally. Research question What are the effects of body modifications? <laughs> through our research, um, I focus mainly on the ethical perspective, which shows whether in America specifically, um, what is considered to be moral, what is considered to be a moral body modification as opposed to something um, less normal, like um, the piercings and tattoos we showed in the previous slide. And I focus on the scientific aspects <coughs> such as the different tools used, different materials used, and how it affects your body. I focus more on culture and how does culture affect body modification. I had the chance to view body modification in an artistic lens. Every, oh, okay. huh? Every piercing and needle that punctures through the surface of a, of a person's skin allows the person to create, to recreate their outer shell into a walking canvas. Um, pop culture references. Oh, um, these three people are people that have been in the media for a long, very long time. Nicki Minaj, Michael Jackson, and Little Kim. Um, these are celebrities that altered their bodies to promote a specific body image. Um, Nicki Minaj um, was a, is a very influential person, um, and she participated in plastic surgery. Um, and you can see the before and after image. Um, Michael Jackson also as well, and Lil' Kim. And from my research, it's shown that um, they are influencers, causing um, them to want to appeal to their fans and to the people that look up to them. So they wanted to promote a certain image for themselves to be more appealing. Through um, the culture lens, I focus more on other countries, but specifically in America, we tend to look more on social media and people who are higher up in rankings or more popular as like a way to modify our bodies. Um, according to plasticsurgery.org, in the US specifically from 2017 to 2018, breast, breast augmentation procedures have increased by 4% and liposuction by 5%, more than 12,000 more done. So um, this shows a change between 2017 and 2018 showing the influential um, drives to promote a certain image. Plastic surgeons are a big part of the influential process because they are driven by getting money from their clients um, and they promote this beauty for life um, perspective showing that um, their clients can achieve a certain body type that is appealing to men or women, whoever they're trying to get um, support from. Um, so it drives people to spend 16.5 billion on cos cosmetic plastic surgery in 2018, um, showing the economic um, issue sur surrounding plastic surgery. While looking through a scientific lens, I focus mainly on um, a celebrity called Ma K. Michelle, and she's been a celebrity who has been extremely open about having plastic surgery, such as being open about having black market butt injections. And she had to get her implants or her injections removed because they were causing damage to her body, especially causing causing her to lose feelings in her legs. Okay. And illegal butt injections have become a big part of the um, American society where, <coughs> where even though butt injections include materials such as tires, tire cement, baby oil, mineral oil, and even cement, and 
yeah, cement. And <laughs> in the American Society of Plastic Surgeons reported more than 25,000 legal butt argumentations in 2017, but estimate around 100,000 Americans with dangerous infections, I mean, dangerous injections that need to lead to removal due to the infections. Um, not only does this have to relate to the scientific pr perspective, but also the ethical, because it's showing how um, celebrities and even people that look up to celebrities are being influenced to um, participate in drastic injection and body modifications to appeal to other people and society. Um, it's showing the difference between what's more normal. It's becoming more normal to look a certain way and to um, promote that image to other people. So um, in Africa, there's something called female genital mutilation is where like in some in some countries like they cut like females clitoris as a way. But this is practiced more in Egypt, Ethiopia, Sudan, and Nigeria. And in the second picture is a three um three to four four plate, which is in some parts of Africa and Asia that seem more as beauty and that comes from like societal in influence. So yeah. Through the works of body modification, body modification history can be told, um, telling a, a culture, a culture's uh, history and past, being able uh, <coughs> through each body, through each body modification on a, a person's, on a person, through a different culture, it tells the story of pain or happiness that happened within the country. All right, on this slide right here, on the left chart right here shows men and women with eye piercing. And on the right, it's, it shows eye piercings and the connection to attempted suicide. Um, this chart, these charts right here, well, the chart on the right is supposed to show you how how body modification can be used as a transmitter to ex to to express a person's pain. So you may not know that a person is going through something, but people are able to tell how you're feeling through just the uh, the art on your skin. <coughs> So the solutions that we came up with is that before getting plastic surgery is essential that you ask questions about what exactly is being put in your bodies to avoid risk of infections and delayed health issues because we know that um, through the example of Kay Michelle that um, after a while of getting a certain butt, butt implant or injection that she was suffering from um, losing what was it, mobility and her knees and legs. So. Um, asking questions can prevent those risks. Knowing exactly before you getting your, before getting your surgery what is being put into your body, whether it's silicone, saline, or something off the black market. Um, so yeah, asking questions is very essential to knowing whether you can be infected in the long run or even as soon as you get it. Um, we're not we're not saying that body modification is like overall negative. But we're just saying to be more careful upon your health because body modification is actually a way to express yourself. So just be careful what you actually do to your body. Um, and that relates to the second solution because expressing yourself um, should be a personal matter. So making sure that you're doing surgery for personal reasons and not to appeal to anyone's, anyone else's preferences because it is your body and it is your risk. So if you choose to um, add or remove something from your body, it, must, it should be for your personal benefit, something that will help you in the long run and not anyone else. Here we go. Um, and this is what it looks like. Hey.